Hi, welcome to this UAS tutorial brought to you by America View. This is Malcolm Williamson from the Center for Advanced Spatial Technologies at the University of Arkansas. Today I'll be talking about geotagging images from the 3DR Solo. In this second video of this series, I'll show you how to use Mission Planner to examine your previously downloaded 3DR Solo .bin log files and how to geotag your GoPro images. I'm assuming that you've already installed the Mission Planner software downloaded your .bin log files from your Solo, and copied the GoPro images from your flight onto your computer. If you need help downloading your log files or information about where to obtain Mission Planner, please refer to the first video in this series. First, open the Mission Planner application. In the initial flight data view, you'll see the black control and status area at the lower left corner of the window, currently displaying things like altitude and airspeed. At its top is a set of light gray tabs. Select the Data Flash Logs tab. You may have to click on the right hand little black arrow to scroll the tabs to the right to make the tab visible. Click on the Review Log button and navigate to where you saved your downloaded .bin log files. Using the date and time of the log files, select and open the one that should match your photos. My last photo was taken at 3.03 p.m and it looks like this log file was completed at 303. Looks promising. Depending upon the size of your .bin log file, it may take quite a few seconds to open up the log browser as there are typically several hundred thousand flight messages stored in each log file. Check the box next to show map and your flight path should appear on a base map. If the flight path doesn't match your flight, you'll need to explore the various .bin log files until you find the correct one. Once you've found the correct log file, you can close the log browser. Although it's not mandatory, you'll find that it speeds up processes if you now use the px4.bin to .log button to convert your chosen binary log to an ASCII text version. It will save the converted file with the same number but a .log extension in the same folder as the original .bin file. Note that you can open, read, and search the .log version of the file with any text editor such as Notepad++. From the main Mission Planner flight data window, do a Control F on your keyboard to open the hidden menu. Click on the GeoRef Images button in the upper left to open the GeoRef Images tool. You'll probably want to maximize this window. Browse for the .log version of your log file if you converted it, otherwise the .bin version will work. Next, browse for the folder that contains the photos from just this flight. Click the Time Offset button and check the Use Cam Messages box. Now you're ready to estimate the mean time difference between the GPS time of the cam trigger messages and the timestamps of each photo. Click the Estimate Offset button and the tool will calculate the difference for the first four photos and report the mean value. Copy and paste that into the Seconds Offset field to the left of the Estimate Offset button. Keep in mind this is just a starting point. Click the Pre-Process button to attempt a match with all photos. Scroll up to the top of the processing log and make sure that the number of log locations and images read are identical. Next, look for any messages in the processing log that say not processed. Assuming that you've got some, you'll need to make an adjustment to the seconds offset value and try again. If you run the estimate offset tool again, you can note how well the mean value represents the four separate estimates and sometimes get an idea which direction you should try adjusting first. I usually start with a whole second in each direction to get a sense which way I should be testing. Keep adjusting the time and rerunning the pre-process step until you've got no more not processed messages. With my photos, it looks like subtracting one second gets a perfect match. Once you've got the offset time correct, all you need to do is click the Geotag Images button to produce a new geotagged folder inside your image folder with geotagged copies of each photo inside it. Optionally, you can use the Location KML button to produce a KML file containing the flight path and each camera location. Now you're ready to feed your photos into your favorite photogrammetry software and produce georeference orthomosaics. The 3DR Solo is a flexible and affordable platform. I hope that these videos help you get more value out of your Solo. Thanks for watching.